Welcome back, everybody. Well, Will, you know quite a bit about me, don't you? I do. I love broadcasting. I love comedy. I had a brief career as an amateur arm wrestler. It all works. All of the basics. But something that you already know and that the viewers know is that I really love art mm -hmm. and I love creating things. For example, who could forget, Will, this past March? Oh, in, honor, this masterpiece? in honor of National Oreo Day. Remember when I created this masterpiece? Huh? Beautiful. Right? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Because I care about you, the home viewer. Fantastic. And I care about art. Oh, this is hurting my back. <laughs> Yes, it was beautiful. Uh, all right, but anyway, earlier this year, the folks from the Wickford Art Association contacted me and asked me, against their better judgment, if I'd like to participate in their first ever celebrity art show and auction. So after discussing it with my team of assistants, <laughs> I thought that this would be a lot of fun, and I decided to sketch something, and I know what everyone out there is thinking, but Brendan, you don't know how to draw. Well, as a kid, I loved sketching, okay. oh. and I really enjoyed that, so I recently started getting back into it in recent years, and I thought, because people have been asking, that that we'd show some of my past artwork before we get to what I created for the right. for the auction. Right. Yes. I'm, I'm really excited to see, see what this is. Okay, so first of all, we'll tell you more about how the auction and the and is gonna work in a moment, but let's take a look at some of my past artwork. Got all it. right, so this one right here, Will, from, I don't know, I guess I was about, uh, this is Michael Jordan, right there. You did that? Yeah, well, I was, um, I wrote down hold, about 16 right there. Did you really? I did. What are you laughing at? I'm not laughing at anything. I'm just, I'm, I'm actually, that's not what I was expecting. I'm, I'm actually impressed by that. I used to love sketching MJ. Okay. So that was when I was about 16. So moving on, uh, that was about when I was 17, his famous fade away. Okay. And Very my nice. favorite part of drawing Jordan, actually the date is on it of when I wrote it. So the viewers at home can see somewhere in the 90s. Wow. My favorite part of sketching Jordan was the sneakers. See? Well, you love sneakers. That's right. He's right, wearing right. the Air Jordan 13s right there. Uh, I love that one because the iconic fadeaway that uh, you know he, he made so popular right there. So then those are from when I was a teenager, teenager. So a few years ago, what do we have next year? I decided to get back into it. So Larry Bird. Okay. I did that one in 2018 right there. You know, firing away. Right. I well, think your earlier works are slightly... Well, uh, I, okay. I really, I really, <laughs> not to be a critic or anything, but I thought your earlier works were very good. Thank you. So yeah. that was a, a quick one because I was getting back into it. So then moving on, uh, a few months after that, I, I love the boss. So I tried to do Bruce's iconic Born to Run yes, album. Yeah. That looks good. Well, that, that might be Dan Fogelberg. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but you know, it does kind of like look at It looks a little bit like sure. him there, so I did that in... Uh, Kenny Loggins. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and moving on, uh, later in 18, uh, excuse me, this was uh, 2020 when Eddie Van Halen passed away last right. fall, I decided, because I love music sure, and sports, sure. so you actually really liked this one. I like that one. That's a good one. It's fun to be drawing the actual guitar. Right, right. And what else do we have here? Oh, who could forget when I drew the three of us, <laughs> the road show? Might, might be my favorite, gotta tell you. <laughs> Me, I'm the easiest one of everything. You know, a circle. <laughs> my favorite part of this is that uh, we could be so thin when right, I yes, sketch us. Yes. And I think I might have one more uh, that I did. That's the last one. Okay, okay, the big finish right okay. there. Now. So, now, <laughs> I told you it's like the Roadshow Art Show. It's going to be like seeing Starry Night for the first time. Okay, so enough of the silliness. Let me talk briefly. The Whitford Art Celebrity Art Show and Auction runs okay. July 16th through August 1st. Now, bidding begins on July 23rd, so you'll have the opportunity to own what you're about to see wow. if you'd like. But it's not only me. Our own Daniel North, Shannon Heggie, and Kim Kaluni are also involved as well. Right, right, uh, right. You can bid on the work, and a portion of the proceeds are going to benefit a charity of our individual choosing. And I have selected the Metallica All Within My Hands Foundation. It's fantastic. And I've interviewed Lars about it right here on right, the right, Roadshow, right. and they do so much. Did I get your free tickets? Or I yes? hope so. <laughs> <laughs> the foundation aims to assist and enrich the lives of uh, members of various communities around the globe, and they encourage participation from Very fans nice. and friends. They do so that. much good work. So okay, I I'm moving a little as, further down the couch because I want to get a better glimpse As of you it. know, I've been taking guitar lessons for about right, a right, year, right. so I thought I would incorporate my love of music and, and also that I would use the name of the foundation, All Within My Hands, which also okay. is the name of one of their songs, as an inspiration. So here we go. I may make some changes, but this is what I came up with. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I don't want to knock over the easel. Hang on. Well, maybe I do. That'd be a good TV moment. What do we think? Oh! Okay. All right. Now, wait. <laughs> Actually, I think that's I think that's very good. It's it's tough to see. So as it, it's tough right here. These are James Hetfield and Kirk Hammett's guitars, and as you can see, the the guitar necks they morph into the hands. And you know, I did hear someone say, and this is like who who knows art, that hands are very hard 
to, to draw and get right. Right. So as it was very difficult. As you can see, it says amplify kindness. And then at the bottom is it's within your hands, inspired by all right. within my right. hands. Is this a pencil piece or charcoal? Pencils. Pencils. And I, if you, we'll post a picture of it later, but the, the dials on the amp, you know, let's get look us at that. both up here. I, I forgot what I did. So the input right here, if you're plugging into rock out, right. I made learn instead. And then the dials in an effort to help and give back, help, listen, support, and give back. Dude, I think it's very good. Thanks, and one of my favorite uh, Metallica songs, one of their most well-known ones is called Nothing Else Matters, and okay. one of my favorite lyrics is open mind for a different view. So as you can see, the mind is turned on because the more we can open our minds, the, the better world yeah, we I can even have. Like the, I like the shading down here. Thank I you. like the way that you have the buttons there. I think it's, I think it's very good. So I, I, may, I may make some more changes. I hope Lars enjoys what I've done here. I think it came out really nice. I know I forgot the drumsticks and Rob Trujillo's bass, but I'll get to those okay. All right. next time. So thanks, everyone. I worked really hard on it. Hope you like it. And a reminder that you can bid on Let this. Let the bidding this begin. Could be yours. I really don't want to part with it, but the bidding will begin July 23rd, and we'll post links and share it all out there later on.